Well, Paris by Paris headlines, we start in St. Landry, where recall efforts to remove the Arneville police chief, Eddie LeCompte, from office are underway. Organizers need 298 signatures within 90 days. Chris Welty joins us from Arneville Police with who filed the petition and why. Chris. Dakota Arno is the resident who filed the recall petition against police chief Eddie LeCompte. He claims the chief is dishonest, a disgrace, and doesn't complete his job efficiently. Meanwhile, the chief maintains he loves his job, but he's not commenting directly on the recall efforts. The recall petition was filed Wednesday with the Secretary of State's office. David Arno making bold allegations against the chief. He is the only chief of police that has never worked a shift throughout Arneville's history. He refuses to work a shift because it's just not in his job description, as he stated multiple times at town meetings. Arno also claims the chief gave an officer a badge and gun who was uninsured by the department. Police Chief Eddie LeCompte says he can't comment on the petition because he has not seen it. He says he does hope Arno comes and talks with him in person about his concerns. You can't have any, any meaningful discussion unless you've got both sides of the story and not just listen to gossip and innuendos. LeCompte did say he is not upset with Arno for his efforts. I think that, you know, it's commendable. I, you know, I, I really do. I mean, to, for, there's not enough young people today that want to get involved. LeCompte believes he has a good track record and ultimately the people will decide. I hope to get a better chief of police that will complete his job efficiently and not leave the town as a liability in issues when you don't know what you're doing. If organizers do get enough signatures for the recall efforts, they have to be certified by the registrar of voters before the chief's recall would end up on a ballot. In Arnoville, Chris Welty, KTC TV3. KTC investigates uncovered the Arnoville Police Department and the chief have faced multiple lawsuits since taking office. The first filed in August 2018 says the chief allowed a locksmith to break a business lock on behalf of two individuals who were in a property dispute. The second was filed in November 2018 after an officer requested accommodations because of complications from her pregnancy caused physical limitations. That suit was eventually dismissed.